guys quick one on uh, the plant to prep in case anyone's doing some kind of a planter in a um, raised planter above a finished space and they don't want to have uh, stains on their ceilings and water running down over stuff um, we're doing this planter basically it's a little swimming pool up here when you think about it because it is going to be filled up with water and moist wet soil so we're treating this similar to our shower area this is just the way we chose to do it there's a there's a lot of different ways you can do a planter like this um I don't know, we had some of this quarry tile we had stored for years and uh, we got it for practically nothing and it's been sitting so we figured this is a nice little spot to get it used on, um, you know, the, the clay, um, the, the, the quarry tiles are 6x6, six six, they're fired at 2000 degrees and they pretty much don't absorb much moisture or water at all so they make a nice uh, tile for a, for a uh, a pot a plant pot so so we got them down there we got some coves and we got some regular field tiles and uh, we're gonna run the coves along the edges and then we're gonna just run the fields there and then we're gonna come along after and um, we'll cap this off when the tea comes up we cap it with the uh, quarry and then we'll come and grout it with some we'll probably use epoxy because it's such a wet area so, um, but first we got to come and mesh everything. So like I was just doing a little prep here. So, but you know, these countersinking screws, when they go in the hardy, they, uh, they make like a residue. You got to clean all that stuff off. And then you could do is, um, any of them stick out, you just come and, come and hit it back, which is, which is screw gun, you know. Get it sunk. Wipe it down. And mesh all your your inside outside corners, all your butt joints are meshed. And then after that's all prepped and ready, we come in here with the curdy fabric and the curdy um, five inch curdy for the corners, and then that way there's kind of a waterproof situation and it's ready to accept the quarry tile. We can just spin set it in here. So. Um, anyways, just to explain this a little bit, so anyone probably not typically see something like this in a bathroom, just to explain it quick, I know we, we did in other videos, but, um, so this is, uh, on the other side of this wall is like a common, um, foyer area, and then underneath these things are, uh, closets, we've got a couple closets here, so you see this is the bedroom now. And uh, this is a double door, uh, pocket door entrance. And then, so this is closet for clothes. And then the other one's closet for clothes. And then that's actually the back of that planter up there, up in that space. Um, so rather than just had built this wall straight up and uh, made this wall to find the bathroom, and then it would have been up over here and closed off to this window, it would have been like an alley bathroom, narrow and long. Um, so what that top of that planter gave us was the uh, extension of the space and created a larger room. And so now this, uh, this wall with the planter above becomes uh, almost an object in the room, but the room dimension is back there. So, I mean, on top of the closets, that's, you're not going to really store things way up there if that was closet from the other side. What are you going to do up there? You know, it's dead space anyways. So, we uh, put it to the height we could for a closet. It's high enough to get our clothes and stuff in here. And at the same time, we we're lucky enough to have high enough ceilings in here that we uh, made it a planter. So... Um, you know, we get nice uh, natural sunlight in here, and it's it's kind of a moist room anyway, so the plants like that, some plants. So 
we're gonna put some hanging plants that are gonna grow up over and come down on that wall and uh, with a small leaf and uh, so you can see the plant on top of the teak and uh, anyways here's that tile and here's your cold and then the, the cold goes first and then the tile comes and butts it and that and that's a quarter inch grout joint right there and then um, we'll probably end up using this for the, for the cap over the top and that's going to meet up with the with the teak coming down that wall and that's the, the cap uh, well, I mean we have we have we had enough of these these been stored but uh yeah the clay don't really wick wick the water so much so it's a nice tile it's, it's a dense tile because it was uh, fired a couple thousand degrees so anyways that's it guys we're just sharing that and then if anyone's um, doing any of this type of stuff I guess if we could share anything it's important to uh, to do your corners and mesh your corners with your thin set before um, before you curdy, and then when you curdy, you do that again, so it's doubly, doubly protected. Because I guess if the water's gonna get anywhere, it's gonna get in all your corners and your transition between surfaces. So it's a little work, but it's it's worth it. And then you have a nice tight corner ready for your curdy, and then you can uh, you can retake your curdy corners, and then you really know you got to the best the best you can do I guess to get that stop that water from getting behind there um, so we ended up flashing this yesterday because like I was saying before we come and flash these areas after we do a mix because all this um, cement board is thin set it onto the plywood back so we got thin set to apply all this all this board on the plywood is thin set it on and we mix up our batches in our bucket there and if we have a little bit extra left over after we're done see the thin set underneath and then we thin set between the layers besides uh, we don't just throw it out we come and do these little flash things and that way there we use up whatever we have and where we end up stopping we stop so you know some of the stuff's got to get hit again so we got to mix up some and then if we have uh, extra we come and do some flashing and um, that's that. So anyways, I'll post this video in case anyone's looking for some kind of an idea um, with their, if they have a bathroom, they want to put some kind of a planter in it, but this is what we're going with the quarry. And of course, people can do it different ways. The guys can do it with copper or however you want to do your, your uh, planter bed pan, you can do it however you want. Some guys fiberglass. Uh, we just happen to be mixing thin sad and we're doing we, we're cutting tile and so the tile six by six quarry we had it that's just it just made made sense for us to use it but that's it for now guys anyways enjoy the, the rest of the weekend and uh, we'll till the next one